You going on barbecue, bud? Well, it's the. Uh... Yeah, we're just out here in a big old uh, wheat field. There's bales of cotton over there. And uh, here I am. Legendary. Mile for me. Okay, me and the wife are splitting the sampler plate. This is it. So we got the uh, pulled pork here on the side, two ribs, and brisket. Comes with a slice of bread. That looks like garlic, maybe not garlic bread, but sliced bread. The baked beans, home fries. Your options for sauce, some kind of a mustard base, some kind of a red one. My wife's got an empty plate, so we're gonna bust it up, and uh, y'all gonna get to watch me eat. You ready? All right, let's uh, let's look at the carnage. <laughs> That's right. The beans were different. Never had beans like th like that before. They were not bad. They were really good. You just never had barbecue beans that tasted anything like that. And they were good. Very heavy on the black pepper, and a little not not really real sweet. But I don't know. I can't describe it. I just call it Delta beans. Of course, all we got left is some rib bones and a little grizzle. The pulled pork, which was right here, excellent. Heavy on black pepper, a little bit smoky, great. The ribs, which were right here, leftovers. They had a real sweet, kind of a candied glaze on them. They were lean ribs, and uh, the meat was well cooked, very tender, and very sweet. The brisket, as you could see, just pulled apart, but yet you could pick up a slice and it stayed together. My wife, she was very fond of the mustard sauce. I don't know what this is right here. I have no idea. But I'm here to tell you, this is the best mustard sauce I've ever had. It's sweet. It has a, um, it has a little bit of cider vinegar in it, you can tell. It's got a mustard base. It's very yellow and uh, it's got a lot of red in it. It's not spicy. The heat you get is just from the mustard, and it goes away just as fast as you get it. I, I, I'm not a big fan of the red sauce, heavy black pepper. Um, we got nothing but a couple of pieces of grizzle and uh, some some pretty clean bones left. So, Hoots, McGee, Arkansas. Yeah. Schedule your trip around dog sleeping on the sidewalk. Look at that.
you're in the right part of the south and you got old yard dogs you, you're at a good barbecue joint when dogs are laying out on the sidewalk waiting for a bone to fall on the ground I'm gonna tell you this much if you're south of Pine Bluff and north of Louisiana there's only one place to eat Hoots and McGeehee this place was awesome the barbecue probably probably some of the best I've had the red sauce it's not bad it's just that mustard sauce is freaking crazy I've never had mustard sauce like that so you're just gonna be driving through cotton fields corn fields and you're gonna see nothing but grain bins and rice mills and then all of a sudden you're gonna see what looks like an old rusted out truck stop with a couple of dogs laying in and about 50 cars in the parking lot that's hoots you pull in there and get the uh, sampler plate get three meats and two sides for 15 bucks I'm stuffed and I think my wife ate most of it she probably won't agree to that she's giving me the evil eye now but my wife ate some I ate some we're both full the beans are different get the beans because you ain't gonna get beans like that anywhere else and uh, yeah hoots is the real deal I've heard about it I've, I've read about it it's kind of a famous place and uh, you really need to try it so if you live here that's probably the only thing there is to eat because I think everybody in there knows everybody we're in South Arkansas they may all be kin I better get out of here before somebody hears me say that <laughs>